Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank versus Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session. This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast, here at Camden Boxing Club with the man himself at the start of fight week, Mr Nathan Gorman, how are you? Very well, mate, you? Very well, thank you, let's get straight to it then. Feels like you've been around the boxing heavyweight scene forever and you're getting your second shot at the British title. Uh, three years after your first attempt against Fabio Wardley, big fight on a big fight night at Wembley Arena. How's that feel to be on another massive card on a big stage? Massive. Um, you know, like you said, second chance now, British heavyweight title. Um, one, what I'm more than confident of winning. Um, I'm really happy with everything, the way everything's gone. You know, my training camp, um, preparation. I'm ready, mate. You know, um, there's no excuse for me come Saturday night. I think it's going to be a really good fight as well. Obviously, your last few opponents, uh, I think Lati, uh, Salek, Sauer, they've been building up to another big fight. Do you think you've obviously signed with Wasserman? Do you think they've progressed you well in preparation for launching you back in with Fabio Wardley? Yeah, definitely. Um, like you said, obviously, a recent fight was in June against um, Salek. He had a good record. He came to win. Um, obviously, I've done the job inside of a round, but it's everywhere boxing. It can happen. You know, one punch can change the fight. That's why it's so exciting, isn't it? You know, everyone loves the glamour division. Um, but everything's gone well, mate. You know, I've been in camp since end of June since this. So thank God, no injuries. I've had nothing. It's been everything's been really good. So after the Daniel Dubois fight, it kind of lockdown happened. Everything you moved from Frank Warren to Wasserman. Do you feel like? that this is the statement you need to really relaunch yourself as a prospect in the division because you're still young and yeah. you can like you're kind of fringe contender if you win this yeah yeah definitely I'm 26 years of age I know I don't look it because I've been around here for about eight years I turned over when I was 18 um, but yeah win this British style I think it puts you on fringe world level you know some good some good names there in, there in the mix I know that domestic fights as well you know, I'm, re I'm one for good domestic fights like this one Everyone wants to protect their own these days. So credit, I think credit for Wardley as well for taking the fight because it's a really good fight. How do you rate Fabio then? He's kind of come up the hard way from the unlicensed scene and done it kind of very differently to yourself. You turn over as a highly touted prospect. Uh, you've taken your loss. You've come back. You've rebuilt. And now it's kind of for yourself and Fabio. It's the winner can really go on to that next step. Yeah, I couldn't listen. I couldn't sit here and call Fabio Wardley from a pick to a dog, you know, because he's he's a good fighter. They don't hand out British title opportunities if you're no good. Uh, if that's the case, everyone would be doing it, wouldn't they? He's a good fighter, unbeaten, uh, knocked everyone out but one. You know, so it's ninety odd percent KO ratio. Does he does everything well by the looks of things, doesn't he? But I think my experience and everything will prevail on Saturday night. I really do. What do you think he brings to the table then? What threats does he bring to Gorman's game? Everything, everything. Any heavyweight brings threats. They go punch. Any man over 15 stone punches you. Right, lights out. And he'll know, he'll, listen, he'll think the same thing as well. He, he knows he's not daft. He's a smart man. Um, but it's a really good fight. See on your social media, you've been sparring some big names in preparation for this. Just how that, how's that gone and just who are all the names you've been in with? Yeah, I've had some uh, good sparring, mate. I've been sparring you if you've been doing a lot, some rounds with him. I've had um, a fellow called War Chief in, Will Howe, Matty Scott. I've had, I've had a fair few good sparring partners in, you know. I've had, I've had loads of sparring, um, all different kinds, all movers, punchers, all sorts. So I've had, like I say, it's been one of the best camps I've had, to be fair, if not my best camp. Excellent. Moving on to the main event then, you this fight, this night's headline by Dillian White's return against Jermaine Franklin. What do you make of that fight? I think it's a good fight for Dillian to come back into. Obviously, uh, Franklin's unbeaten, 21 0 or something in here. Um, but I think Dillian stopped him inside four, four rounds, maybe. But there's the old cliche you can't write any heavyweight off. A lot of people are kind of writing off Dillian after the Tyson defeat. Do you think that's right, or do you think Dillian can come again and mix it with the top? I think he can come again. Listen, <laughs> Tyson Fury is a unique man, isn't he? You know what I mean? He does that. With, look, he's done it with Deontay Wilder. 
and Deontay Wilder, in my opinion, buying Tyson would clear them all out. You know what I mean? Just because Tyson's done that to you doesn't mean anything else. Let's move on to Tyson then, someone obviously you know very well, your cousin. What do you make of the fight against Chisora next week? Will you be there? Uh, I, won't be, I won't be there, no, because my wife's expecting the baby the next three weeks. Oh, well, so, congratulations. Yeah, yeah, so I'll be cutting it fine, won't I? Um, but I think he'll uh, do the business inside five to six rounds. Too big, too strong, just too good. The fight's received quite a bit of criticism online and through the boxing world. What do you make of Derek as an opponent? I think Derek's a very good opponent. You, you put Derek in there with anyone, he's given them a hard night. You know what I mean? Everyone choose, tunes in for Ward Chisora. I love watching him myself as a fan and as a boxer. Um, incredible art. What a, what a tough man. I think it's a really good fight. Let's be fair, if you wind it back two or three years, some may say, well, a lot will say, that he beat Dillian White. So if you look at that, they're on par with each other, I think. He's also just come off away against Pulev. So what more can you ask for? You know, None of the others couldn't have it. Like Usex and Joshua, because those all, uh, God knows what was happening, but obviously at that level, the minor details matter, doesn't they? So, Ultras all stepped up to the plate, so I, I'll be tuned in for it, put it that way. Since you've signed with uh, Wasserman, they've tried to keep you as active as possible in the past year. Have you spoke to Kalor and Nissa about a contingency plan after this fight, or is just fully focused on Fabio? I'm fully focused on Fabio is the main thing. Um, get Fabio out of the way, then obviously I'll sit down a week after or something and we'll go on from there. Excellent. Last one then. Can I get a prediction from you? What happens on Saturday night when you step in the ring for the British title against Fabio Wardley? Yeah, a Nathan Gorman win. By any means? By any means possible. Excellent. Nathan, thank you very much for speaking to IFL TV and best of luck on Saturday night. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Fight Live returns to Channel 5 this Friday. Two of Britain's most exciting super lightweights collide at London's legendary York Hall. Don't miss Eubank vs Farrell this Friday on Channel 5. I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.